Sends the Hog Riders on the right side. He's going to hog into a town hall. This is ballsy. Not many people hog through a town hall. We're back, ladies and gentle toast. Oh, that is an early Warden blimp. X-Team Esports versus Strut here in the World Championship Stage 3, Round 3. Both these teams are 2-0, which means whoever wins this match qualifies to next week in the next phase of the tournament. Whoever loses this match has to keep playing and try to get one more win. Super Archer blimp blowing up the middle of the base here. Getting the Town Hall. Nice. Get that Expo as well. Clutch. The Rage Spell expires, so they won't be able to pick up that Scatter Shot. But no big deal. No big deal. Baby Dragon to help fight these uh, Rocket Balloons and Ice Golems. Looking good. Looking good. Baby Dragon does indeed take all these out. Then we're going to start with the King. Baby Warden. Electro Titan. Ice Golem here in the lower side of the base. Archer Queen is in. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Super Barbarians. Spread out through the base as well. One Rocket Balloon still alive. Alright. We're gonna send the champion there. Queen's gonna go get the scatter shot anyway. King still has his ability. Rage Tower going off on the left. Baby Warden's following the King. Royal Champion actually goes to the right. That's a little awkward. Queen gonna get these defenses here on the left. We got no more wall breakers to give her access to the multi. That could be really awkward. Champion comes back around. Oh, this is interesting. She'll get this Expo. We got no spells. Super Barbarians all over the place. Royal Champion gonna have to pop her ability here. She doesn't go for the multi, but Queen beat on the wall. Can Queen actually take this multi out before dying? Unicorn trying to keep her alive for now. She's low. She's low. Champion spinning in circles. Queen takes the multi. Can she get the Wizard Tower too while it's distracted on the Super Barbarian? Yes, she does. This is so close. Headhunters for the King. He's got three more Super Barbs. He needs to get through this multi. It could be tricky. He's got an Archer for the Mortar. Queen beating on a wall. Three Super Barbs. He's not dropping them. He's not dropping them. He's going to wait. He's got time. He says, hold on. Let Queen get through the wall. If she can distract this cannon, the unicorn healing her back up, we could send the super barbs. Oh, why does he do that? I don't think he needed... Could have let Queen distract the cannon. Maybe maybe not. Maybe this is the better way to do it. Super barbs distract the cannon. Queen gets through it. Queen is still healthy. 98%. 99 and 100. It was close. But a three star is a three star. And X team start off this match with a bang. Strut are in with their first attack. We'll see if they can strut their stuff. And get a three star here to tie things up. Dark star with their first attack. Quake, a couple lightning spells, take out an expo, take out an inferno tower, take out a rage tower. It's a good zap value. Barbarian king, archer queen, left side of the base. Sure. A couple Teslas pop early. No big deal. We'll take those out. Skelly traps. <clears throat> also not going to be that overwhelming. How's this queen going to pass? She's going to stay on the outside, but king's also going to not be able to hit the eagle. But then we're going to log launcher and golem. What the? Okay. Golem going to walk down. Log launcher going to get the eagle and the expo. Cool. Queen pop ability. Queen pop ability. Maybe not. Yes. Okay. I think the queen, the enemy queen, is actually locked onto his golem, not his queen. He might not have had to pop the ability at all. Log launcher troops have access to both the remaining infernos now. Skeleton spell on the bottom side with the. He hasn't even deployed the champion yet. This is looking great. Down goes the second inferno, and the Yeti might should be able to pick up the third inferno. Poison spell for the headhunters, but they still wreck the queen, which means she might not get that expo. Some rocket balloons on the right side. <laughs> Snipe a defense, but more importantly, they pull the poison tower effect. <laughs> I like that. The one thing I don't like is wherever he sends his champion, she's going to get distracted by ice golems eventually. He's going to lolo through the town hall. Okay. Town hall's about to wake up. He drops the first freeze, maybe a little bit early. Rage, warn ability. 
He's gonna end up having to path through this Giga Poison, maybe. Champion's in on the top side. Headhunters for the king. He's got two more headhunters for the enemy champion. He's got a haste spell. He's got a free spell. He's gonna dodge that poison. At least half the balloons will. Nice. Freeze on the scatter shot. More balloons. Last two headhunters in. Here we go. Can we get through everything? We got the royal champion ability. We're gonna pop it. Headhunters might die early. Champion goes for champion. Ooh, balloons are fizzling out. Champion. They kill each other. What the? 38 seconds. Can we get through it? Yes. Diggy stuns the scatter shot. Diggy switched to follow the warden. Ice Golem pops and freezes, but it doesn't matter. We got plenty of time on the clock. Minions take out the clan castle in the middle. Pups going for the gold storage on the right side of the base. Balloons split into two different groups. The warden, the electric owl, even Diggy. Still alive, still helping out. Looking great for Dark Star Strut. Also able to start this match off with a three star. We are all tied up. Mood is in with the next attack for X Team Esport. Five healers and a lot of whole riders. All right. Flame flingers in. Queen on the left side of the base. Cool. Healers to help out this queen. The wall breaker gives her easy access to the multi-targeting inferno tower. Coolio. She'll take out that multi. Another wall breaker gonna give her access to the town hall chamber. That flame flinger on the top side of the base still getting some good value. It does get hit once by that mortar. Twice. Ooh. Spicy. Queen not pathing in for the town hall. This could be a problem. She should go back in eventually, no matter what. So maybe this is how he expected it to go, I don't know. Maybe Dragon up top, CC troops are coming out. Coco Loon finds a trap, that's nice. Drop the poison for all these archers and ice golems, clutch. Does the Flame Flinger live long enough to take the scatter? Uh, maybe. Healer's getting frozen, that's an uh-oh. That's a big uh-oh. They get frozen again. Queen. Yikes. Rip the ability. As healers got frozen. Invis the healers. Might need another rage there. Might need another rage. He does. Queen going for the town hall. Super minions. And a yeti. What the? Two yetis and one super minion. Okay. That actually works out really well. Wow. Wow. King on the right side. Doing his thing. Hog riders on the bottom side. With the skeleton spell. With the champion. With the warden. And the warden ability. Boom, boom, boom. Making our way in. Rage spell with the piggies. Champion moving through. A couple more hog riders on the right side. We're going to start freezing. Rage again for the hog riders. Two more freezes still to go. He's got a lot of spells here. He can use for the royal champion. Going to start freezing the monolith with the upper inferno. Yes, sir. King, even though he dies, goes to Phoenix ability. Still distracting a few more defenses. One more freeze for the inferno. For the monolith. For the builder hut. Champion has her ability just crushing through the middle section of the base. Queen beating on a wall. Doing what queens do best. Down goes the eagle. Down goes the builder hut. Down goes the expo. And this base is absolutely deleted. And X Team Esports are two for two. Rigo Torres 23, mi amor, is in with some queen charge. Twin hog action against Mood's base. He's got a three star here to keep things tied up. Everybody perfect so far in this match. It's exciting. Good attacks. Queen on the bottom right side with the baby dragon, with the barbarian king early as well. Has to use a rage right away because it's already so much damage. Queen takes the cannon, takes the air defense. We're even going to go with the invis spell as the rage tower goes off. Scattershot doing double damage. Maybe even scarier is the warden statue doing double damage. That guy hits like a truck. Queen gets through it though. King pops ability, headhunter to help there. Another rage is in as Queen starts making her way toward the second scatter. CC troops are coming out first. Poison spell to help deal with those. Rage tower wears off, which is nice. Coco Loon pulls a couple traps. We're looking solid. I like the charge so far, although he has had to invest a lot of spells. There's already his third rage. And he's used like two freezes. A couple wall breakers. Let's see what they can do. Give him access to the eagle. And the other one. Bust open that wall over there. Okay. Alright. Sure. We're already starting with the bacon on the right side of the base. Not going to wait at all. Is he going to blimp the town hall? I think so. Maybe. Yes, he is. He's going to blimp the town hall in the Warden ability. Boom. Warden ability popped. Everybody invincible. 
Super Hog Riders starting to make their way toward the Monolith section. We're going to try to rage for the Blimp Troops and the Hog Riders. This might work out pretty well. Freeze is in. Skeleton Spell to distract the single. Town Hall drops. Uh, hopefully we don't lose too many troops in this Giga Poison. I think most of the Hog Riders are barely skipping it. Royal Champion still alive. Queen very healthy with ability. A couple extra Hog Riders being deployed from the top side of the base. Royal Champion moving in toward the top section. No more spells to support. She's in the Giga Poison now. Taking some damage from that. We are going to get through the single target Inferno Tower. We pop her ability. Get through a lot of other defenses. We just got to get through this enemy. Royal Champion. And we'll be looking solid. Diggy stuns the cannon. We send our last Headhunter in to help support. Headhunter going to slow her down. All three heroes team up on the enemy royal champion and Rigo Torres with a beautiful plan, a beautiful execution, able to get it done. And once again, everybody still perfect in this match. I'm definitely jinxing both teams now. Somebody's got to mess up eventually, right? Omara is in third attack for X team. Six lightning spells and an earthquake. Lalo to follow up. We're gonna take care of the expo of the Inferno Tower, okay? All right. King, queen, maybe even a log launcher for the next phase of the attack. Cool. Log launcher's in. King to distract this expo. Get the eagle artillery. Queen to walk left toward the scattershot toward the enemy champion. Sure, sure, sure. Queen fighting the enemy champion. The headhunter is in to support. Log launcher taking out that other expo, taking out the multi. King. Getting the ice golems. Queen did get the scatter shot. We start the Lala from the left. Are the Yetis from the log launcher going to go to the core and get the other Inferno? Yes, look at that. It's an E Titan and a Yeti. They do take out that other Inferno. Haste on the left. Get through this Tesla farm. Lalo into the town hall. Okay. Sweet. Here we go. We rage. We pop a warden ability going into the town hall. Rage tower goes off. Tornado trap on the left. Uh, get the town hall. Get the town hall. Yes, we do. Lose a couple balloons there. Champion skeleton spell on the right side. Sure. We already got through the enemy queens. This is looking great. Looking great, dude. X team are just popping off today. Beautiful plan. He still has a baby dragon to use. Unless there's a million skelly traps here, his champion should be able to clean up these defenses. Oh, I had to jinx it. Hold on. Hold on. Champion goes to ability. Baby dragon's in. She's stuck on these skellies. We need the diggy to stun before she dies. Come on. Come on, diggy. Get in there. RC. One HP. Another skelly trap. But she gets the scatter first. Clutch. Let's go. No more defenses. RC stays alive on one HP. Minions, Owl, Wizard on the bottom side of the base. It is a three star. And X team are three for three. Philip is in with some super bolo smash. Okay. We start with the Flame Flinger. We got one E Titan. Warden on the left side. Healers on the Grand Warden. Cool. Wooden takes the Dark Elixir Drill, takes the cannon. We want him to get all the way to the scatter shot, I bet. Flame Flinger responsible for the other scatter shot. Yeti Balloon funneling some defenses on the outside. He's finding Teslas, he's finding Skelly Traps. They go for the Grand Warden. He's gonna have to rage here. Cool. Don't switch to the Skellies yet. Oh, he did. Awkward. Eh, he should be fine. Get the Skellies, get the scatter shot. Should be ready to rock and roll. Queen deployed. Ice Golem, E Titan, Bowlers. Let's go. That is the League Warden skin. The one that you gotta pay like 2,000 CWO medals for. It's kinda wild. Flame Flayer did get the right side scatter. It's gonna die to mortars now. Troops are making their way in toward the Eagle, toward the Expos. We do have one jumping spell and only one. Headhunter is in. Warden ability popped. I think the headhunter died though. Rip. Flameflinger troops. 
Getting some value on the outside of the base. Take care of the left inferno, the right inferno. Jump spell gives us access to the town hall. Beautiful freeze hits the town hall. And the monolith. Oh, it's not the league skin. All right, never mind. I'm blind. King goes down, but the Phoenix ability brings him back. Giant, royal champion in on the left side of the base. Free spell up top. That's his last spell, but he's looking solid. Champion moving through the left side. Healer's still up. Queen has ability, can get some more value before dying. Pop her ability there. Champion gets the wizard, gets the archer tower. We still have champion ability. Queen spinning in the tornado trap. She's still getting more value. Down goes the archer tower. Queen's going to stay alive. Wow, this is wrecked. This is wrecked. Just got to get through two cannons. 30 more seconds. Oh, there's a wizard tower he skipped. It's a little awkward. Only one wizard on cleanup. Don't tell me time's going to be an issue. Gets through the cannon. Going to the right for the wizard tower. Queen working on cleanup. Time could be close. I think he's going to get it. Gets that wizard tower. Queen stepping left. RC going right. Perfect split. Queen goes left. RC goes right. It's a three star. Both teams are three for three. What the heck? Jaga is in with two lightning spells and a lot of super dragons. Cool. Cool, cool. See what he can do here against Rigo Torres' diamond looking base. Couple lightning spells for a sweeper. A sweeper. Balloons, rocket balloons, baby dragon. Get the air defense up top. Hello, Teslas. He gets the air defense. All right. King on the left. Archer Queen is in with the Yuna baby. King should go straight for the eagle. Monolith gonna do a lot of damage to him though. Super Dragons are in. King needs to pop his ability immediately. He's gonna die so fast. Oh yeah, yeah. Battle Blimp with the Super Drags. King goes down. Phoenix brings him back for eight seconds. Warden ability popped. Cool. Cool. Battle Blimp soaring. Do we have Super Minions? We do have a Clone Spell. Hello, Red Bombs. Super minions are still alive though. Clone spell is in. Invisibility. A ragey boy. Next invisibility. Super dragon still melting through the core. And expo locks onto the queen. One more invis. Super minions trying to pick up that town hall. Even with the tornado trap spinning. Tornado trap spinning. One more invis spell to be extra, extra safe. Town hall drops. Queen goes down kind of early. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We only got one free spell left. We send the champion. We freeze early. Skelly Trap distracts. Does that Super Dragon take the scatter? It's going to be super critical. It does. That's going to help the champion out a lot. But she's getting melted by a Tesla and a cannon, bro. Rip. RC ability goes off. Gets several defenses, but I don't think he's got enough. Not enough juice. This Rage Tower going to do too much damage, right? Well, she might get through that. One Super Dragon is low. He can't get this. He can't get this. RC gets through the expo. She'll get through a mortar, but she dies to the king. That king slaps her silly. The air defense is up. The dragon is low. It's going to be the first defense of the match. The queen dying early there might have costed him everything. Rip. Wizard up top getting a storage. Super dragon. Gonna go down. The minion might be able to finish off that storage for a 90%. Can the wizard reach another storage? No, I think it's gonna be exactly 90%. Oh boy. Rigo's base holds strong. Strut might be able to take the lead if they can triple again on their next hit. Should be getting the storage here and then die to the air defense for an exactly 90. Ast is in with... Some super hogs, some super barbarians, a lot of skeleton spells as well. All right. Let's see what he can do. Rage, invis, skeleton spells. Take out the monolith. Take out the CC building. Cool. One more invis for good luck. And he gets the CC, gets the monolith. Perfect start. Saves one skeleton spell. Saves. One invis spell for later. Yeti Flame Flinger, upper left side of the base. Another Yeti on the bottom side. They're doing some funneling. 
Sure. King on the bottom side. I think the Yeti Mites were supposed to get the mortars. Scattershot was able to hit some of them. King might not path perfectly now. King was supposed to go to the air defense next. Does he still do that? He sends one Super Hog to fix the pathing, but they still go left anyway, so the Super Hog might be swag. Queen on the left side. King and E-Titan. Gonna go fight the enemy Queen. I love the E-Titan there because it just kills the Skellies right away. King can slap the enemy Queen. Silly. Down goes the Scattershot. Unfortunately, the E-Titan dies. Not the end of the world. At least she got the Skelly traps. Queen gonna keep going left. Get the Eagle. If she can go in for the multi, that'd be clutch. Flame Flinger still getting good value there on the top side of the base. King goes down, but gets the Wizard Tower as he dies. Queen taking a lot of damage. Gonna have to pop her ability here. Boom, there it goes. Now the Expo locks on the Flame Flinger. He might not get that scatter shot. Uh-oh. Sends the Hog Riders on the right side. He's gonna hog into a Town Hall. This is ballsy. Not many people hog through a Town Hall. Pops the Warden ability, drops the Rage Spell, Headhunters on the King, down goes the Town Hall, but can we get through the poison? That's the question to ask. Maybe? He's got two Freezes, he's got an Invis. He's got more Super Barbs, Headhunters on the top side of the base, trying to take out that Champion, Freeze on the scatter shot. down goes the Champion. Most of the Hog Riders are starting to fizzle out. Champion has ability, he's got an Invis, he's got a Freeze. This is gonna be close. One more Freeze there on the scatter shot. Uh, sends the Super Barbs to get the Expo. RC ability. Boom, 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 and boom. Invis the champion. That scatter shot's on one HP. RC goes up for it. Takes the scatter. She's going to go all the way up. Skip this Inferno Tower. We're going to have to finish there. It's on half health. RC takes the Archer Tower. Wizards for cleanup on the storage. Archers for cleanup on the other storage. RC going downtown for the Inferno Tower. Asked with the ballsy play. Hog Riders into a town hall. And it works. These guys are four for four and take the lead. Melee is in. Final attack for X team. They have to three star. It's now or never. Get a three star, get a defense. That's the only chance they have. Electro dragons with a clone spell. With some lightning spells. Okay. Yeti on the top side of the base. Lightning spells for an air sweeper. Sure. Balloons, some rocket balloons. Take out the air defense. Ooh, excuse my yawn. Baby dragon, E dragons, Grand Warden. Here we go. It's all or nothing. They need the three star. Balloons are in. Battle blimp. Warden ability in three, two, one. Boom. Battle blimp soaring toward the town hall. He's probably got a super minion bomb. Ready to rock and roll. There's the invis, there's the clone. Tornado trap's gonna be awkward, spinning half those minions away from the invis and straight into the gigabomb. Yikes, he does get the town hall, but no bonus value. King queen on the left side of the base and he didn't get this left scatter. This could be really awkward. This could be really awkward for Melly. Don't know if he got enough value. Swag's at his last invis too. Uh. Two freezes. I have to send champion to that middle section. There goes the champion. She'll take the scatter. She'll go start working on those expos, but the skelly trap distracts. It's awkward. King queen wrap around the bottom side. Probably need to pop king ability. Ooh, and a Tesla farm. This is gonna be so awkward for Melee. King gets wrecked. Free spill is in. Lots of skelly traps down there. Jeez. Queen gonna have to fight the king. Champion's already low. Not looking great. This is a rip. X team were looking so solid until their last two attacks. Queen pops ability, takes the king, takes the monolith, but now Unicorn's dead. Queen cannot get any more health. Three Teslas. Gonna just slowly start working on her. The archers are actually distracting for now. But the queen can't take the rest of the base. That's a big defense for Philip. Struts, bases, their last two bases coming in clutch here, saving the day for them. They're looking good to win the match now. Just need a solid two star on their last attack. Archer's minions on the right side of the base to get him above 80%, but there's no need to watch that. Mask is in with the final attack of the match to win it for Strut. Get them to be 3-0 and qualified for next week's event. See if he can do it with the healers 
the two dragon riders and the balloons. All right. Headhunters in, super barbs to funnel. Sure. Queen should step in for the scatter shot. Scatter shot is doing double damage though, so he has to rage. Takes the scatter. Invis spell is in. Clutch. Wall break. Free spell. Coolio. Next rage on the queen. She's staying alive. He's got a recall spell as well. It was interesting. As soon as she takes the inferno, does he just recall her the heck out of there or what? I don't know. Yep. He didn't even let her get the sweeper because she'd be in range of the monolith and maybe pull the CC. Drops her again on the bottom side of the base. Now a giant to pull the CC troops out, I guess. Cool. Headhunters, Lava Dog, Poison Spell early because of those Headhunters. Sure, he has to rage his queen once more. He's running out of spells. Queen pops the Hound. Minion to help support with the Lava Pups. Two archers on the right side of the base, gonna get a free air defense, I like that. A lot of balloons on the left. Battle Blimp for the Town Hall. Warden ability. Headhunter's in for the champion as well. Okay. Still has his Barb King. Still has his Royal Champion. Still has his two Dragon Riders. Rage over the blimp. Down goes the Town Hall. Yeti Mites might get another defense or two. King deployed now. From the left side. Queen finally working on the Eagle Artillery. Two Dragon Riders from the top side of the base. Alright. Are they just easily going to get this Inferno Tower? Yes, they are. That's kind of cool. Skeleton spell now to distract the Monolith and send the champion to the core. I like it. I like it. I can dig it. Interesting plan. This might just work out. The two-star secured. Strut do win the match no matter what, but can he get the three-star? Distracted by Skellies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Queen beaten on a silly wall. We do get the Monolith. Dragon Riders go down. RC has ability. 28 seconds. It might be close with all those storages. Time might be the biggest issue as Queen's going to keep beating on different walls. Warden solos the Expo on the left. Pop that RC ability. Down go all the defenses. Can RC fight the King? Ooh, she's going to die, I think, but we just need to get these storages. We don't even have to fight the King. Go minions. Go goblin. Go, 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 go. We get the left storage. Seven seconds. Queen finally got through another wall. She's going for the storage. Come on. Come on. Get the storage. Queen gonna shoot the king. Two, one. No! <laughs> the storage on one HP, dude. Rip mask. He's not able to three star for the perfect war. They got 499.99%. But it's a win. 14 to 13. 99.8 to 94.2. GG's.